So walk me through tonight. You guys are now one three zero against Chicago, and it's for no lack of trying to score. Kind of what? And how did tonight play out for you guys? Uh, it was a similar game uh, from what we've seen. They they go harder than net. Uh, they play tough defensively, make it tough for us to score. Have a good PK. Um, usually our power play is pretty strong, so they did a good job of kind of keeping us out of those dangerous areas. Uh, but I thought our PK did a great job tonight too. They have a lot of dangerous guys up front, and uh, we battled to keep ourselves into it. Now, how different is it? Because you've been up here for a little while and primarily being a starter. How different is it for you from Toledo from in the atmosphere down there? Yeah, uh, it was a great crowd again tonight. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play in front of. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get them any goals, get them into it. But uh, a couple guys stepped up, had some good fights, had some big hits, uh, trying to get ourselves going. Now, about this group, and you've been here for a few weeks now, what is it about this group that stands out? They've got a lot of fight in them, but anyone who really sticks out? Yeah, we have a little bit of everything. You see a lot of young guys, but a lot of veterans. Um, they speak up when they need to, um, but it allows the younger guys to speak up as well and uh, contribute uh, on and off the ice. Um, a lot of the older guys here have been through it, have won, um, so a lot of guys look up to them going forward. Not in the spirit of New Year's, are there anything going into 2020 as far as your own personal game you're looking to kind of tweak and adjust a little bit? Yeah, uh, every night try to get a little better, try to go back through uh, some of the plays, see what you can do differently. Uh, got a good group of coaches here, goalie coaches, going through all the little details with us, trying to uh, pick up on those little things that make the difference in the long run. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of difficult to kind of get settled, considering it's very transitional between here and the ECHL to kind of find a groove? Yeah, it's been nice of late to get some starts in a row to kind of try to find my game and get going. Um, Past years, I've kind of been up and down, or maybe not seen a start for a month or so. So from that aspect, it's been uh, it's been nice to get a little bit of a rhythm. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Kind of walk me through tonight, kind of what happened. Here. Yeah, I mean, I think um, we had a pretty decent start, and um, they kind of got that lucky goal. But I thought, you know, we were we were at, at times pushing and, and getting in their zone. But I think. Um, yeah, you know, we got to find a way to get more pucks than that and, and score some goals here. Mm -hmm. Since your reassignment from Detroit, I mean, do you feel like you're kind of getting that confidence and kind of getting your legs under you again to get ready to go back? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think um, you know, just getting able to, to play more and handle the puck and, and get some confidence I think has been been huge for our game, and I've been definitely more, more comfortable out there, so um, just hopefully to continue that. What has been the biggest area of progression you think for you personally? Um, just having the confidence to carry, carry the puck to the neutral zone and, and, and over the blue line and, and trying to make plays. I think, you know, for a while there in Detroit, I was just, just chipping the puck and, and kind of getting away from what um, I do really well. So I think I've been able to do that at, at times here and, and hoping for more consistency. Now going forward in the spirit of New Year's, is there anything in 2020 that you kind of want to adjust while you're here and just in general with your game? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a couple things, but I don't think nothing really comes to mind, you know, and just trying to get better every day and, and have a good work ethic, I think. Um, you know, a positive mindset, you know, in, in a situation like I'm in is, is big for me. So just think, continue to come and rank with a positive attitude and, and try to get better. Would you say that's the hardest battle for anyone kind of going between Detroit and here is just the mental challenges? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think for me, first year pro and, and you know, you've never really experienced it. So you, so you lean on some of the older guys and, and their experience and, um, yeah, just having a positive mindset and, and trying not to get too down on yourself. Was it a big culture shock going from the Michigan State, going from like the NCAA circuit to pros? Was that just a huge adjustment? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I think the game's obviously a little bit different, obviously faster and um, stronger guys. But um, at the end of the day, you're just out there playing hockey, and, and you're getting to, to be around the guys all the time. So um, that part's the same, and, and that's probably the best part of the game. Would you say there's anyone here that you kind of gravitate towards to kind of model the game a little bit and to kind of take tips and tricks from? or? It's just kind of a, a collective effort. Yeah, I think it's more of a, more of a group effort. You know, you definitely have the friends on the team that, that you go to, but um, you know, there's a lot. We have a lot of good players, a lot of guys that have played um, a lot of years in this league. So um, just be able to watch them and, and uh, try and learn from them. And then, what would you say the team's confidence level is at right now after a game like this? Yeah, I, mean, I think you know after we beat Milwaukee, you know we felt pretty good and um, wanted to come in here and start to, to string a couple together. But um, you know I think we played a pretty good game tonight. But um, you know guys aren't satisfied and we just want to find ways to score. Well, I don't think it's a matter of confidence. I think it's just a matter of scoring goals. We haven't scored a goal at home I don't think in seven periods. So we did some good things tonight. Uh, but again, you know defensively I thought the first two periods I thought we were solid. We only gave up. A limited number of shots on net the first two periods, and then they uh, they severely out chanced us, outshot us in the third period, and 
know, we talked about generating more offense, being more net focused and being more uh, assertive around their net and getting pucks to the net. We just didn't do that. So uh, we've got guys in this room that are more than capable of producing offense. And we need those guys to step up right now. And that's just plain and simple. Their penalty kills still going pretty strong. Now, what has been working out for them? Well, first and foremost, your best PK guy is your goalie, and I think uh, just through the streak of this PK where they've, you know, they've been able to be a little bit, uh, you know, drive their numbers up, and it's been because of our goalies. We've got a big save when we need it, and I think, uh, again, it's repetitions. You've got some guys that are continually doing it, and when you do things more, you get better at it. And then going into the new year, what is something you want to see out of this team? I want to see a little bit of uh, resiliency from the group, and they have for the most part of the year, but. You know, we're in a results-driven business, and we got to show consistent uh, development, consistent improvement. If we continue to improve on a daily basis, you're going to see the results, but we just have to make sure that we're, we're hammering on good habits and doing the right things every day.